Hey guys, at BV Matson here. Had a struggle yesterday getting those rings out, but a few runs through the ultrasonic. A little bit of attention to detail, and we've got ourselves a set of serviceable pistons. Now it's time to finally get to these piston rings. So here we go. Here is my original. Remember how cruddy this was, right? Looked like crap. Ultrasonic took ah, probably four runs through the ultrasonic. I did use simple green. I moved away from the gas. The, the gas, um, I don't know, just wasn't really doing it. It did an okay job. I don't know if maybe some of you have more higher power ultrasonics. Maybe that works a little bit better. It definitely worked to clean it, but it didn't help at all with the rings. And, you know, that was a stab in the dark, so no big deal. Anyway, let's get to these uh, piston rings and get these things ready to rock and roll again. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. We have a kind of a chrome or a stainless ring. If you look at the side, you can tell that we've got our uh, kind of a stainless or a, it's not chrome, it's probably stainless uh, top compression ring. And then we have just kind of a steel. It's a dark color, it's just black. That's your second ring. And then we've got our Euler rings. And as suspected, this one actually gets sandwiched in between these two. All right, so these go on the bottom. Here's our middle and here's our top. Another thing to note on your piston rings is each one of these is gonna have a little marking or a word or something right next to the edge. That's gonna be up on the piston, all right? So just remember that each one of these has a mark um, these don't have a mark um, at, at all. I don't think that that matters. So um, we've got to get all these rings successfully installed onto this piston. So uh, let's get to it. All right, first thing I'm going to do is uh, just get some air and actually just blow out each one of these little air channels. Let's just make sure they're absolutely clean. I mean, I have very little um, reason to believe that there's a bunch of gunk trapped in these little oil ports. But just take a, take a minute and just blow each one of these out from the front side and the back side. And uh, should be in good shape. I just want to make sure I've got these ports clean because this is really, really important. You know, this gets your oil up into your piston. So we don't want to make sure, we want to make sure it's all clean. And uh, so far so good. It doesn't look like it's really blowing anything out. But yeah, just grab your compressed air air compressor or whatever, make sure you blow out each one of these little, uh, little air ports. That's going to be the most important thing. Let's start there. All right, we got that all blown out. And uh, one thing I do want to try today is that I was kind of watching some videos on some tips to get these things to install. And somebody actually used a few little plastic guides. This is some kind of thin plastic. I'll link to the video right here um, that I saw. And I just thought it uh, made a lot of sense as far as, you know, getting these things slipped onto space. Because I think what really kills you is if you too aggressively pull on these, you know, they're, 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 they're going to break, <laughs> you know, as, as we noticed yesterday. So um, I want to rig that up. But first, I really want to get, get this thing lubed up. So I'm going to use my Magic Mystery Oil or Marvel Mystery Oil, and actually, you know, really lubricate up this section of the piston uh, so I can have a little bit of an assist when I uh, get these rings going. So I'm going to be pretty liberal about it here today um, and just make sure that I get a lot of oil in these areas, especially over the top, um, to be able uh, to slide these things on. Now, I want to try it a couple different ways. I mean, this is all a very experimental channel. Again, I have never done this before at all. So um, by no means an expert. But what I did like about that method is that it made sense that this would really limit the amount that um, you had to, you know, really stretch those rings. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position three of these around the piston. This is cut from an old piece of, uh, you know, packaging. I'm going to throw a rubber band around these, okay? So then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get these e e equally kind of pulled apart, pulled around here. And then I'm going to actually lube up the 
plastic piece as well. Okay, just gonna make sure that we have lots and lots of lubrication for this process, all right? Really, really don't care. This is an old towel, <laughs> I don't care at all. I just wanna make sure I have lots of lubrication uh, when I put these rings on. So there we go. So <clears throat> first step in all of this, your first ring that you're gonna install is gonna be this wavy one, your oil ring, okay? And when you install it, see if I can give you a good look at this, you're gonna want this thing to actually butt up against it. See that? Boom, boom. It should sit there like that. It shouldn't be overlapping, okay? I really, I gotta give a, a hat tip to uh, Saturday's Wrench here too, because he did an amazing job of filming a top engine rebuild, and I picked a, up a ton of information from that. Uh, but that's the proper way for this thing to go together, okay? So what I'm gonna do, this goes in our bottom slot. I'm just gonna gently get this around each piece of my plastic here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide her down, all right? And then my idea was, is, well, it is, because we're doing it, um, is actually just to pull these sheets down as I get things where I need them to go. And look at, so far so good. It's working really well on this oil ring. This is a good test. And there we go, okay? So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna slide this back up. It's gonna help if I think too, if I just put it right on the edge of the actual piston. Move this up just a little bit, hold them in place. Now we can go ahead and we can attack one of the retainers. So here's my piece, sitting here just like this, give my hands a little wipe. And then we're gonna grab one of the two. Remember that two that were stuck together? These are our rings. Now there are no markings on these that these go up or down. There's not a marking on these at all. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just carefully get this started over my plastic pieces. Yeah, I already kind of feel, already feel a little bit more confident other than just trying to gauge it with my hands. So I just wanna get it around one. Get it around the other. And then hopefully slide that down. All right, beautiful. See that? That actually, I think this is gonna work out very, very well. Um, now we're just gonna slide this bad boy down into its position. And again, be micro movements with everything that you're doing. I'm actually gonna keep adding oil to this to make sure that everything is sliding really, really well. And then I'm gonna actually position this below the oil ring, okay? Again, I don't wanna torque these rings like at all, if possible. So I'm hung up here just a little bit, but boom, 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 bring that down. And then see how I've got this started on this edge? I'm gonna do the same thing on this edge, just like that. Make sure I'm underneath that oil ring, which it looks like I am. And then find my edge, here's my edge. And then I'm just gonna slowly kind of hold this ring where it is and then pull this plastic retainer out. There it went, see that? Popped right in. Let's work our way around it. I'm gonna hold that ring. And then what I'm gonna do is pull that out. Beautiful. And then we got one more to go, okay? So I'm just gonna line this up. Again, be really careful on torquing these rings. And bam, see that? That's nice and smooth, that's spinning. Now we've got to go ahead and put the top in. One other thing to just note on this is I want to double check that seam uh, in that Euler ring to make sure that my seams aren't lining up. You don't want your, your gaps to be lined up on the different rings. That's really, really important as well. Um, but for now, it looks like I'm going to be able to spin these free. So let's go ahead and, and repeat the process. I'm going to go ahead and move my slide up. I'm going to grab another one of my plastic shields, slide that on. And I'm gonna grab another one. I'm gonna kind of go three around, kind of thirds, just kind of doing it in thirds. 
Ugh, come on, get on there. I think once I use these a few times, those will, like, they'll like start getting real solid um, and get that shape of the piston. Because right now you can kind of see they're popping up just a little bit. I got to really, really watch that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get the second one installed. And again, there's no mark or anything on this. Uh, so it can go either way from the looks of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to, again, carefully. I'm going to also make a note of where my seam was on this one. So my seam is here. So I'm going to go try and get my seam over on, on this side. All right. So we just want to alternate all of these things. So I'm going to go ahead and just carefully get that around. It's kind of nice because you can kind of bend the plastic inward. And then it just naturally kind of limits how much tension you're actually put, putting on that ring when you're pulling it apart. Um, I, I love this method. And again, I, I linked to that video where this guy walked through this whole process. It, it just made sense when I watched it. I was like, okay, I get that. That, that works. So then I'm just going to push this down into here. But my hands are really oily. And there we go. Okay, so then see, I don't have to do a whole heck of a lot of finagling now. I can just slowly kind of march this ring down the cylinder. God, I love this method. I, I got to go leave a comment on that video because um, this is super, super, super helpful. And then uh, we're just going to work our way down. And this is going to go on top. This is going to go on top of the oil ring. So we've got one on the bottom, one on the top. So I'm just going to move this down. I'm going to get this started there and then I can move the rest of my ring into position just like that straighten this bad boy out just a little bit like that perfect and then I'm going to oil up oil that bad boy up all right and then we can actually just pull this plastic piece out. A little bit looser rubber band would be nice. And bam, dropped right in there. See how that dropped in? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, now I'm just gonna slide this down. I'm gonna start trying to pull this one out. Bam, that dropped that right into position. And then I'm gonna move around to this side, give this little tug, give that a little pull, give that a little push. And then as you pull that out, that ring should go home. There it is. All right, nice and free and installed. That's how it should be, okay? Nice and smooth, nice and easy. I'm actually going to double check to make sure that I don't. So here's one of my gaps. I want to make sure that my other gap is far away. I'm actually just going to spin that one just around just a little bit more because here's one gap and here's the other gap. I kind of want this to be a little bit, a little bit further away. So I'll work on spinning that around. That's great. So boom, so far so good. I'm absolutely loving this method. All right, I've got my uh, my little slides repositioned. Again, they're just down on the edge. This is awesome. The the guy in the previous video, he didn't use a rubber band on this. He was just holding it in place and then pushing stuff on. Um, I kind of like the control that I'm getting out of this rubber band. So I'm just going to keep rolling with it and uh, see, what, see, uh, see if it keeps going well. Because so far, so good. That was a piece of cake. I'm going to lube this up really, really good again. Get these plastic things sliding. And also I'm gonna oil up my slots again as well. All right, and boom. Okay, so now we're ready for that second ring. And remember the important part on this ring is that the numbers are going up. And when you look at your rings, see if I can give you a look at this. One is silver, one is not on the edge. The silver one is top. So that's the last one that we're actually going to install. We wanna install this one next. So this is gonna go into the middle row right there, okay? So let's give this a try on something a little bit thicker. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a, I'm gonna try to keep my, my uh, gap over the top of this plastic bit here so it doesn't get all hung up. 
use my fingers to push that open. Yeah, dude, I love this. I absolutely love this method. I mean, you are literally, you're putting minimal stress on that, on that ring um, as, as you kind of work this over. Because again, these are really not forgiving. And that was the big wake up call yesterday. It was like, whoa, these things are no joke. It's really helpful to get the edge of one of these rings onto your plastic piece for sure. Um, that's that's uh, being really helpful right now because it's not falling into any of these gaps. And I'm just gonna pull it down, get it lined up. See how I'm lined up on that? Just like that. And I'm gonna hold it with one hand. Actually, let's pull this one first. Get this right over where I need it. I'm gonna hold that in position. And let's see if I can just shift this one over. There we go, bam. Then I'm gonna go ahead, whoops, carefully reposition that. Yep, that dropped right in. Now I can pull this one. See, I'm just pulling that out. Boop, there we go. Go around to this side. Make sure you're all lined up and then give that just a nice little pull. And then we're over on this edge and we're just gonna pull that one just like that. Bam, nice and free movement on that. That's good. I feel really, really good about that. Really good about that. How about that? That is the way um, to do this for sure. Um, bam. Then we get our compression kit in, and that is going to be absolutely beautiful. Again, these are stock pistons, so I just have the replacement kit, the normal old replacement kit. And, uh, yeah, that is uh, a beautiful thing. So let's go ahead and install that last one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my plastic pieces back up, just like that. See, so I pulled one of them out, so I gotta put one back in. Get that rubber band down. Boy, my hands are so greasy right now. Oh my God. I can barely hold on to this thing. I'm gonna give my hands a wipe here before I get too deep. So again, I'm gonna note where that gap is. Here's my gap on this one. And I'm just gonna alternate that. So I'm gonna go boom, I'm gonna do it over here. So we don't have those gaps in the rings showing up all over the place. So again, repeat. Gonna go ahead, oil this up, oil this all up. Just like that. Thrilling video guys, but I think it's a really good technique. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments absolutely love that i'm just going to push these up just again a little bit just enough so i can get out oh this one got a little wonky on me i'm actually going to flip this one around try to keep a nice smooth edge if you possibly can boop boop just like that and then we're going to take this ring and again just make sure that your numbers are going up on these, remember that little mark, that's what you want up. All right, got you a little bit better camera angle here um, so we can get this last ring installed on this piston. Keep going, and again, remember, number uh, letters up, and that's gonna go in our top ring position. I'll loop that around here. Actually, let's go like this. Go like that, and then like that. that and if I can get it's kind of nice when you got a little bit of play with it you can kind of pull it up into there and then give those a little push just like that come on buddy there we go Oop. man it is slippery it is slippery I'll give it that it's going like this Again, I don't want that. Here we go. There, oh, almost had it. Just trying to get this one kind of edge down in. So I'm gonna leave this one in, okay? Just like that. I'm gonna try to work this around. That's my goal right now. This one's definitely firmer than the other ones, but these sliders are really helpful, man. 
There we go, got it around and it dropped it in. Bam, just like that. It really, really, really helps limit how much pressure you're putting on these on these things. So now I can just take this one. It's all lined up, it's beautiful. Let's take this one, pull it out. Take this one and pull it out. Take this one, pull it out. And there we go, all free moving. Want to make sure that we alter these piston rings. Let's actually take a look at that because there is a uh, a, a piece that I saw in the manual about uh, spreading these out and spacing these all out. So, bam, it can be done. <laughs> There's a few pieces of plastic in our damn rubber band. Um, this is going in the toolkit. This is super, super useful. Yeah, they're all beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at what we did. And it's not even 10 o'clock yet. All right, and here's the diagram I remember seeing, all right? Um, it's 120 degree uh, separation on the different, um, you know, breaks in those different rings. You just don't want those all lined up. You want them all spread apart 120 degrees. So I'm gonna go around the piston, make sure I've got those clearances um, on those, and I should be good to go. And again, this is the original piston. This was in the motor, and I got a complete rebuild uh, kit of piston rings for this. So I'm very confident in, in, in the right parts and everything for this engine. I, I feel good about that. One last thing to do on this piston before we go ahead and put it back in, um, we gotta put in one of our uh, little retainers. It's gonna make, make it a lot easier instead of uh, having to try to install that from the inside here when we've got these kind of bars in the way. So let's go ahead and, and put that side in. All right, another little important point of uh, kind of reference that you want to pay attention to. It's kind of hard to see on this cylinder or on this piston, but on this one, you can clearly see the arrow and it's pointing to the left. That actually means towards the front of the engine. Another indicator would be this little, uh, the, the little groove and indentation. Uh, that's going to go towards the front as well. So this is my left side cylinder. It's gonna drop in there just like this. So like there's my starter motor, that's the front of my motor. There's my notch. And then it's hard to see on this one, but there it is, there's that arrow. It's pointing towards the front of the motor. So I actually need to install this clip to make my life a lot easier down the road. Let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and install this. Again, it goes, there's a really little groove See it? A little groove down here. It's where we want to install this clip. And it's really nice if you can get one of these ends here to go into this groove as well. It just makes it easier if you ever do have to take it apart. So I'm just gonna give that a push. I'm doing this with my fingers, it goes in easy enough. Boop, boop. There you go. All right, so that clip is in there and it's perfectly in there. See how there's a little bit of a gap on that? We'll be able to pull that out pretty easily in the future if we need to deal with it. You can rotate it just a little bit if you want, but um, that's how I've seen it be recommended that you do it. And then there you go. So now we don't have to deal with that side. Um, when we put the actual piston in, into the bike, we can just slide the pin in and put it in on the outside. So um, there, I mean, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, oil this all up really, really good. I do have a bottle of assembly lube as well that I'll be using on uh, you know some of this stuff in here. We wanna make sure this thing is really, really well lubricated uh, when, we, when we get to that point. But I've got another piston to go. What do you guys think of this whole process? All right, three little pieces of plastic that I curved out, a rubber band, and I uh, actually made that job go pretty easy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I gotta get to this other piston, get the other one ready to go. Um, I am going to double check um, the measurements on this uh, just to make sure. So I did pick up a micrometer and, and all kinds of stuff, but I, I'm very, very confident. I mean, look at look at all of these these different markings and everything. It all looks the same. All right, we'll see. Who knows? We'll probably run into some other jam as well, but uh, whatever. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy the videos, please thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't done that. Um, also, hit that alarm bell so you see the videos when they come out. And uh, follow along, Instagram and Twitter, at BV Matson. We're making progress. And uh, yeah, I got to swing, swing these around a little bit, make sure they're not overlapped. All right, guys, see you in the next video.